want to just do some little hip openers first while we're just waiting for the last two minutes. This is more for Jane because she's over the hips too. She's muscular, so it's not too much problem. So you're going to hold your hands on your hips and then you're going to rotate your knees out so your feet are staying on the floor. Probably, well, they will move a little bit, obviously, out. And it feels really, really weird. But it just makes your hips circle that way rather than that way and then up to the side, like out. So it gives like a proper circular motion in your hip joints to really work warm up. So if you hold on to your hips, hands on your hips, and then just bring those knees out and back in. And it feels a bit weird. And your knees are slightly bent as well, so from the side of you. Yeah? So you're just pushing those knees out and back in. Yeah? Doesn't really help, I've got a black mat behind me, does it? Because you can't really see. Sorry about my arm. Oh, it's going to have a leak there, isn't it? Okay, so I'll move that black mat now. So. so push your knees out and bring them in. Push out and in. Yeah? Okay, so they turn your hips. Yeah, because nothing else is moving really. You're just going to push your knee, rotate your knees out and rotate them up in. So, yeah. Get the dance. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> okay, so just circle them in and out for a little bit, yeah? Another one is, I'm going to have to hold on to the water machine to do this, so. Um, so another one is to do is to lift, actually I can maybe do the pole, just for balance really. So you lift your knee up, take it out to the side, and then circle it round so your foot comes out the other end. And then I've got cramp in the hamstring as well. Okay, so you're going to lift it up, out, round, up, out, round. It's hard to balance with a pole. <laughs> okay. And that also circle, circles the hips. Okay, so try and do some of those. Yeah. And then obviously the other leg as well. So it doesn't have that so it's got the bigger part on the bottom, I've got it. So lift up, out to the side, and then bring it round. I'm just going to watch what I'm doing as well. So out and round. So you can either make it like a little triangle with your knee, trying up. Out to the side and then bring your knee back down with your heel up. Yeah. So try a few of those as well. It might help a little bit, Jane. Oh. Hi, Sarah. Okay. So let's get on with our little warm up then. So either pole or band or just your arms if you haven't got any of those. Just going to loosen up those shoulders a little bit. Bring them round. Back and down. Okay, so our movements today are going to be a combo movement and then like an isolated movement and then a bit of swing or cardio. Jane, if you want to do cardio instead of the swings, that's absolutely fine because of your hips. Um, so, as always, the cardio is either jumping jacks, pretend skipping. Um, burpees if you really want, squat jumps, any of those things, jog on the spot, any of those are fine. Hit our shoulders, let's warm up to our chest a little bit, so you want to hold your hands, excuse me, that way around and just pull out, okay, if you haven't got a band, just do the motion without the band, okay, but you want to pretend that you're pulling apart, so yeah, so pull your shoulders back, chest is out. Okay, and then turn your hands that way, other way round. And pull out the same. If you haven't got your band, just pull your shoulders back. And then just move your arms out. Okay, so warm up to our backs for those ones, yeah. And then our chest is that way round, yeah. Okay, then we are going to do our little check and beats. So, hands behind your back, feet up with the part, down, nice flat back, knees are soft. Just warm up to those hamstrings. 
Make sure they're nice and warm. Do those heels. Always do your heels, not do your toes. Okay, we'll just do a few more of those hip openers. So hands on your hips, feet in with the part, knees out, knees in. So these are warming up three hip joints. So these were taught to me by um, a fantastic powerlifting coach in Manchester. So I had the pleasure to uh, have guided me through some stuff a little while ago. Make a massive difference to your squat as well. Okay, and then some squats. Nice and wide. Toes out to incorporate your glutes. These warm them up a little bit. And then two squats. And up. Okay, and we're trying not to lean forward when we do a squat, yeah? Trying to keep our head up. Yeah? And always praying to put up the squat. Those booty gains. Okay, and then at the end, as well today, we'll do the arms if you want. Okay, and rest. Okay, so, first thing is we're going to be doing a lateral lunge and front raise. So you might want to use a lighter weight for this. If you need to, you can use a dumbbell for this as well, just to hold it either end, yeah? So you're nice and wide. Going to go down into our lateral lunge. And then we're going to front raise up while we're down, yeah? And then we're going to change sides and actually move a little bit. Down. Up, yeah, so this is going to be your lateral lunge and raise. That's our first exercise. And then our second exercise is a 45 degree press. So you turn your bell the way around. And we're just going to go out 45 degrees. Yeah. And then we've got our swings or cardio. As I say, Jane, if you want to do your cardio, that's fine. Be worried about your hips for those um, swings. Okay. So we've done swings the last few weeks, so we all know what they're doing, don't we? Um, just remember, pipe the bell back first, shoulders up when you're using your hips, those and those swings. Okay, so that's the first set of exercises. We're gonna start off with those back on lunge and front raise. So go around hold your bell. I'm gonna do 45 seconds of those, and then I'm going straight in to the press. Straight into the swings or cardio, okay? Are you ready? Get set. Okay, so down. Raise. Change sides. Raise. And again, bottom goes back. Back is nice and flat. So you're pushing your bottom back on these and you're keeping your back nice and flat and lifting that bell up through your shoulders for that front raise. A few seconds left. There we go. Okay, so straight in. So bell upside down. Straight into those 45 degree presses. Knees soft, tuck that belly button in. Check that lower back. So 45 degrees. Down rest. Into those swings or cardio. So your cardio is like the jumping jacks. Therapies, pretend skipping. Keep those arms soft. It's all in the hip action. 
your arms and shoulders on the verge of the other hand, holding your shoulders back on these swings. So get your heart rate nice and high. And we're going to have a 30 second rest after this. Before the next round. Just to get our breath back. Four, three, two, one. Well down, rest for 30 seconds. As always, got to get my exercise thing. Okay. So come back in with those lateral runs, front raise. If it's too heavy with the bell, just go without, yeah? Obviously, more work the better. Okay, so your bell stays down. Down for that lateral lunge and lift. Down, lift. that bottom goes back. Pull your weight through your heels. Okay, into that press. And we'll put a flat press in this time as well. So 45, flat. 45, flat. You'll feel the difference in the flat. Last 
next one. Let's go into those swings or cardio. Whichever one you want to do. Use those hips. Thighs should shake on that hip snap. Two seconds left. Come back into that rest. In four, three, two, one. Rest. Whew. So come back in. Last one, lunge and front raise. Remember, bottom always goes back. And rest. Again, we'll go flat 45. So take out the flat first. 45. There's a massive difference in the feeling of these two moves. Make sure that core's nice and tight. Suck that belly button in. Good. And then swings or cardio. Finish this round off. my cardio and the swings. Just to keep it a bit interesting really. You can do all swings if you want and you can do all cardio if you want. I don't mind, this is just a little pulse raiser, yeah? And rest, okay, take your rest. Okay, so our next moves going to be squat and bicep curl. Have a little thumbs up if you're okay, by the way, guys, if you can. So yeah, but squat and bicep curl. Then a bent over row and then back into our swings or cardio. Okay, if you've got two uh, weighted bells, you can maybe go up on your swings this time if you want to. Okay, so we've got a squat, bicep curl and bent over row. So I'm going to use a heavy bell for this one. So, our squat, bicep curl. Nice wide squat, toes out to incorporate the glutes. You're gonna get glute the pants then. Um, squat down, bicep curl at the bottom. Back up. Down, bicep curl. Okay? Nice and controlled and just go down as far as you can. So you don't need, you know, if you haven't got that point yet where you're squatting lower than your knees, that's fine, you know? So, if your squat ends parallel, that's fine. If you get a bit down, that's fine too. Okay, so you squat into the bicep curl at the bottom. And then we've got, thank you for the thumbs up. And then we've got bent over row. 
So you're gonna pull into your hips, yeah? We don't pull up to our ribs, yeah? So you're gonna pull from your heel, if you like, up to your hips, yeah? So that's your bent over row. And we'll change the next round through, yeah? So we've got another 15 seconds left of rest. Gonna come back into that squat and bicep curl, into the bent over row, and then swings and cardio. And as usual, I haven't brought the water with me. Okay, so grab your bell by the bell itself. Same position, really. Squat down, bicep curl up, back up. Squat down, bicep. And we're keeping our head up. If you want to, you can focus somewhere high to stop that chest dropping. Shoulders are back. Okay, a few more seconds left. Push through those heels on the way up. There we go, good. Okay, into that bent over row. So you're gonna go side arm, one foot forward, one foot back. Use this front leg to lean on. I'm gonna scoop back to our hip. So from ankle to hip. Pull through your shoulder, follow through with the bell. Then nice and slow and controlled. The slower when you're resisting the weight pulling you down is better. That's where your strength's built. Because you're fighting against the pull. Yeah? Last one. Okay, into swings. Whew. Or cardio. Whichever one you want. You'll notice as well that when you use a heavier bell, your swings aren't as fast. Yeah? And you have to really use those hips. I'm not using my arms at all, there to pull up. Just purely in that momentum from the hip thrust. Just breathe. And your knees are soft. They're not squatting. Perfect hip hinge. Yeah, and rest. 30 seconds rest. Come back in. That squat and bicep curl. Whew. A few seconds left. Okay, so let's get ready. And bell's getting a bit sweaty now. Okay, so down. Bicep curl at the bottom. Nice and controlled. And rest. Into those swings or cardio.
seconds. And take a rest. Back in to squat and bicep curl. Can't keep still. Bottom. Push through those heels. Shouldn't feel any pressure through your toes. I think it rained enough last time, didn't it? Okay, back in to that bent over row. Play a nice flat back. Pull up to those hips. So it's kind of like a bit of a scoop. These are one of my favourite exercises. <laughs> I love back work. <sighs> Rest. Gonna go into those swings again. All the cardio. Whichever you want. Hike back. Use those hooks. Get your breath back. Okay, five seconds. Come back into that squat with the bicep curl. Let's go down. Curl up. So you want all that weight going through your heels on that squat, even at the bottom position. Yeah, so make sure everything stays nice and engaged. Ready for that, come back up again. You don't want to sit into it as such. Don't turn those muscles off. That's the last one of those. Okay, into that bent over row. So same as before. Make sure you change the arms. Okay. Down. Use that shoulder to pull through. And if you notice, I'm following the line of my hamstring really. On the other leg. My leg forward. So it's that nice little scoop motion to pull that into your hip. And the rest, then we're just going to finish off with some swings on these. Woo! Oh, it's cut. Ooh. 
Okay, so she covered you a little bit of mine. Get an extra couple of swings and swings our cardio. If you can just in case you haven't got the control yet for uh, the bell coming over okay so I'm gonna, I'll show you first you start off as if you would do a swing um, I'm not using 12 for this I'll use the 8 okay so you're gonna swing into it um, first so you do one swing first for momentum and then we're gonna take the, the bell and we're going to bring it all the way up and then as you get to about 45 degrees you're going to bend your elbow and push your hand through the bell yeah so it's going to swing down one for momentum and then up and push through okay go down and up so that's really over exaggerated that swish up because obviously if you've got a bell in your hand it won't be that exaggerated Okay, so it looks like this. I'll do it from the front and then from the side. So you're gonna swing one for momentum and then up and over, okay? I tried to really exaggerate that as well, then usually it's a bit more flowy. Yeah, so it kind of folds over your wrist. So down and through. Down and through, okay? So you relax your um, elbow so that your hand get underneath the bell. Then you scoop the bell up and push through. Okay, on the way back down again, I bring it through my central line like I do when I do the snatch. So, a snatch, sorry, the clean. So, swing all the way up and then I drop it down through my body and let it swing through. Yeah, so it kind of just folds over Nice loose grip as well, you don't want to be gripping too hard on this one. So down, up and punching from the side view. Uh, can you see from over here there, yeah? Make sure I've got enough room for the bell to swing. Okay, so swing one to momentum and then up and through. Yeah, down through the middle, up and through. Down through the middle, up and through. Yeah, down, up. And through, I slowed that last one down a little bit. Okay, so for that snatch, you just need to be quite firm with it, really. Um, it's 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 quite technical, but once you get the flow of it, it's it just comes. Once you've got it, you've got it. Um, if you have got any wrist straps or anything, pat them on for now. It takes them it takes a massive fear away from that bell clunking. So, like if I'm a beginner. It's quite like that I'm going to push through and it's going to clunk the back of my wrist. Once you get going, hardly even touches the back of your wrist, yeah? So you come through, and as you're coming back through, push through. So it's almost like a scoop through, yeah? And you're still using your hips for that momentum to come up. So one for momentum, all the way up and through, and then back down again. So. You can let it fall forward if you want to as well, but if, you have not if you're not in control of that bell, it's going to pull you forward and you're going to move, yeah? So, I would always bring it back through my central line. So bend your elbow, bring it back down and scoop through, yeah? 
It's like a nice little pendulum with those hips, like the clean was. Okay, so that's that. The other move in this section is a rotational press. So God help us when we do our biceps and shoulders later. Okay, so we're gonna go this side, it's gonna go over there. Yeah, so we're gonna push through and twist. That back heel comes off the ground and then we come back down like a corkscrew. So up and then back down as we come to the front, yeah? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do snatch left, snatch right, or snatch right, snatch left, whichever way you wanna go. Then we're gonna do a rotational press left and right. And we'll do that two, three times. If you are really struggling with the snatch, um, a clean and press is fine. Okay, so you clean and press just in case. Is up and press, okay? And back through. So that's if you're struggling with that snatch. It does take a bit of practice, but with us not being in a class environment, obviously I can't see what you're doing. Um, if you do need a Zoom or something to go through it, let me know in the comments and we'll maybe I'll organise a Zoom so we can get together and do it what, either one morning, one afternoon, one evening, whatever. Okay, so we're doing 30 seconds of each, so it's not too long. Snatch left, snatch, 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 snatch right, all the other way round. And then the rotational press left and right, and we're going to do that three times round. There's a little rest of 15 seconds in between each one. So 30 on, 15 rest, okay? But I'll shout that anyway. Okay, so we're going to come in with our snatches first. Are we ready? Okay, so one for momentum and then snatch up, drop it down through, snatch down through, snatch. Don't forget, fold that elbow a little bit so you fold the bell over the hands. So you're not swinging it. Good, okay, so we're gonna change arms in a minute. Just take your 15 seconds rest. Change arms. Usually you would have started with your most powerful arm. So you're gonna be on dodgy arm now. So it's gonna feel a bit weird for the first few reps. Okay, so back into that snatch. All the way up and through. Back down. All the way up and through. Okay, if you need that little swing in between, that's fine. This is a full body one, this one. So you're using everything, you're using your core, you're using your shoulders, you're using your arms, you're using your whole body to get that up. And rest. Okay, so we're gonna come in now with that rotational press. Let's just turn this up a little bit now. Okay, so rotational press, ready? Down. Same arm all the time for this one. I'm going to change the next one. So you're using all your core and your oblique muscles in that twist. Make sure that heel is coming off the floor. Use those legs. A little bit of extra power. And down. Gonna change arms. Okay, just a few seconds rest. Okay. So other way this time. So you go on the opposite side and back down. Twist. You'll always find one side is less cooperative than the other. And at the top of that press, your biceps by your ears, okay? Let's take a rest. So we're gonna be coming back in again with that snatch. Six up. Okay, so back in with that snatch, first arm again. Swing, back up into that snatch. Fold it over, back through the midline. It's quite dynamic this one, so you really need to put some effort into it. You want that belt to come over the top without 
feel the back of your wrist. You need to be able to get a bit of power behind it. These 30 seconds go fast now. Okay, 15 seconds rest. Take your rest, get your breath back. Okay, back in, second hand. One for momentum, one up and over, back down. I'll put on YouTube tomorrow. Should be the same class, but through my YouTube, and it'll have a little guide, and I'll try and post it on here as well before you take a little rest. Okay, so we come in with those rotational presses again. Okay, so over this way, press, lift that heel up, come back down. Use your legs. And rest. Gonna change hands. Ready for the next one. Okay, remember, so your wrists always nice and straight, fingers to the sky. And your thumb is your little hook. Okay. So I'm going to take over this way now and push through, okay? Use Ooh, your legs to push. Make sure you got your balance. to go. Two snatches, two rotational presses. We'll be able to add those snatches in for a bit more of a dynamic workout over the next few weeks. Okay, so swing. Snatch all the way up. Bend that elbow, push through. Down. Push through. Down. Great calorie burners, these ones. Use everything in your body. Okay, take your 15 second rest. And come back in with that other arm. Last time for snatches. Okay, you ready? Snatch through. Okay. So if you turn, kind of think of it as folding the bell over rather than letting it plop over. So you're guiding it. Get your balance at the top as well. Make sure you stop that move dead at the top. Incorporate all your core muscles in that one, yeah? And down. Okay, we're going to come into that rotational press. Last round of these. Okay, so clean that bell up. Over this way first. Push. Back down. So you're going to corkscrew up and corkscrew back down as you bring it down. And we go slow on the way back down. Just for a bit more time under tension and just to control it. You don't want to be throwing kettlebells around. Okay, nice and controlled, especially for strength, which is why I've called the kettle strong. Okay, so down. Okay, let's have a little rest. Change hands. Get okay, ready. Take a little rest. Get your balance. Remember that heel comes off the floor. In the heel, not a full foot, obviously. Okay, and we're going to push up. And back down that court screw. Okay, 
can't believe we're doing biceps and shells, that's this. Woo! Must be mad. And down. Can you put your bar on the floor nicely? That is the end of the kettle strong. Pop your bells out the way. We'll have a little stretch. So a nice deep breath in. And out. Hopefully you're breathing the back down almost normal. Okay, so we're going to squat down for the stretch. So you're going to put your legs quite nice and wide. And you're going to squat down for the stretch. Push your elbows into your knees and just splay them apart a little bit. Okay, so your weights through your heels and your elbows are pushing those legs apart a little bit, okay? So you put your hands on the floor, straighten your legs out. Just let yourself hang there for a little bit. And then you're gonna just peel your back up nice and slow. Big shoulders round. Let's go again, because there's a lot of hip movements today. So down again into that wide squat. Knees pushed apart with your elbows. Great for your hips as well, these. All right, press the floor. Straighten your legs. Just drop as far as you can. And then come up. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Back and round. Okay. Little back stretch. The so shoulders back to start, back and down. And then you will slowly release them, push forwards and stretch out that back. And come back. Arms around the back again, shoulders back. Pull those arms down. I don't want you to stick your chest out. I just want you to stretch your chest muscles. So your chest is still low down, yeah? And lift those arms up a little bit. Okay, and rest. Shoulders, pack them right in, pull right across. And change arms. Arms so I can finish off. A few deep breaths. And fabulous! Well done, guys. I will see you. Well, I'll see you on this on, the, on Facebook later, obviously. Um, but I will see you next week for another class. Oh, see you soon.